two families. According to Islam, a man can legally marry up to four wives and have as many concubines as he likes. The practice of keeping concubines was not popular in our town, and very few Teleshi men practiced polygamy, but my father had two wives and managed to father twelve children between them. My father was married to my mother until three years before I was born. He then took another girl as his second wife. My mother could not protest my father's decision to bring a second wife into our family. My father was not a religious man, but he considered himself to be a Sunni. His wives were both Shiites. Traditionally, religious Muslims marry people from their own sect, but because my father was not fundamentally religious, he married whomever he pleased. The fact that Shiites were dominant in our region very likely played a key role in the fact that my father was not particular about what religious sects his wives came from. My mother seemed to be more religious than my father, but she could still pass for a nominal and superstitious Muslim. They did not know Islam and were unable to understand Islamic fundamentalism. There were two languages spoken in our home. My father's stepmother and all children of the family spoke to each other in Teleshi, but my father and my mother's children all spoke to my mother in Azeri, the language of my mother's people, the Azerbaijanis. My mother did not know Teleshi when she married my father, but he spoke Azeri and was able to communicate with her in her language. It kept the language in the family. I didn't learn Persian or Farsi, the official language of Iran, until I started school. This is often one of the biggest surprises for people because they do not realize Iran has many different languages.